Hello crafty friends, it's Lisa here and I am super excited to be back sharing another card making tutorial here on the Whimsy Stamps YouTube channel. I want to take a second to welcome any new viewers and say thanks for joining us. If you like what you're seeing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now for those of you who are returning subscribers, we appreciate your loyalty and welcome back. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to create one look three ways with the brand new Doggy Flight stamp set. Now, although all the images are adorable, I especially love this image of the dog in the plane, so he's gonna be my main focus. I was so happy to see that this set contains four banner sentiments you can use with that image and the other images as well in the set. Also, be sure to stick around because at the end of the video, I'm gonna share more samples that include the other images from this set. Now, using some simple supplies from Whimsy, I'll show you three ways to achieve the same look. One, we're just going to use the stamp set. And then we're gonna move on and we're gonna use the It's Cloudy stencil. And then I'll show you a background stamp that'll be perfect with this set. There's a good possibility you already have a few of these products, if not all of them, in your Whimsy Stamps stash. So with that said, let's dive into this tutorial. The first thing I'm going to do is stamp my images with my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Then lightly ink up all the sentiments to avoid them sticking to the paper as I'm stamping my images and lifting that paper up. In the meantime, I'm gonna leave everything in the misty so I can stamp the colored images using VersaFine Onyx Black ink once I'm done coloring them. Since coloring is not my favorite part of creating, I always keep it simple and quick. The dog is colored with E30, E31, and E34. Now you could change up the plane's color palette to suit your theme, as you'll see in the other two images shortly. Now for this image, I use neutral grays N0, N2, and N5. Black is used on his jacket, leaving some white showing, and R20 on his nose. Now one of the best things about this hobby we all love, you can take what I'm showing you here on screen and you can make it your own. Maybe the coloring process is where you shine and if it is, let your light shine brightly there and then use pattern paper or a simple ink blended background that you're gonna see a little bit later. The background papers at, um, available at Whimsy are some of the best in the industry for setting a scene. So now that I have my image colored, I'm gonna go ahead and use my VersaFine Onyx Black ink to stamp the image again. And you hear me say this a lot in my recent videos because it really does bring out all the details. Uh, sometimes I feel like when I'm coloring, I lose some of the details uh, with the colors covering up or you know, kind of saturating that ink that we used to stamp our image. And just by going back over them with that VersaFine Onyx Black ink, it really does help them pop right off that page again. So quickly, I went ahead and used one color to color each of my little uh, sentiment banners there. And for the Be Mine, I used red. For Thank You, I used black. And the Happy Birthday, I used orange. So we're gonna give this a quick run through the scan and cut to cut out the images and those sentiment banners. And then we're gonna move on to creating our one look three different ways. So laid down here in front of me, I have an A2 top fold card base. And I've just framed it out with some masking paper to uh, create me a nice little white frame around the ink blended area I'm working on. So I'm using the Whimsy Stamps It's Cloudy stencil. I love this stencil uh, because it's so easy to create these backgrounds. Just twisting and turning that stencil different ways is gonna give you a different look on each layer of clouds and I really like that. One ink that I'm using with my Whimsy Blender brush here and this is just the Distress Oxide and Salvage Patina and I'm just doing a couple of layers of clouds here and then I'll go around the edges and do a little light ink blending with my blender brush. The ink that's left on the brush just go around those edges and around the top and finish it off. And then I'm gonna come in with my Zig Cartoonist pen and I'm gonna do some white splatters. You've seen me, probably seen me use this before, but it's just a white pigment um, ink in this pen and I just 
shake it up, give it a little squeeze, and then tap it on my finger, and it creates these perfect white splatters on my background, and it dries sitting on top of the paper because it is a pigment ink, and that creates a little bit of texture. So this is actually great if you're looking for uh, something that might create like a snow effect. This pen is a great use for that. So the second way that we're going to create this look is by doing an ombre ink blended background. And we'll stamp the clouds, and cut those out with our scissors, just a quick fussy cut with that, and add that at the end of the video. So let's focus right now on this ink blending I'm doing. I started with the salvage patina right there in the middle of the card base and I'm adding peacock feathers at the top. Now notice how I left the bottom untouched because when I'm done with all the ink blending at the top, I'll come back in and finish out that bottom. I'm gonna take some of the ink off of my blender brush with a rag so that I can easily blend that out into white. So I did decide to add some blueprint sketch right across the top of this panel. And here you can see I'm cleaning my brush up so that I can come back in now, finish the blending process, and then I clean it one more time off screen to go ahead and finish blending down into the white. Now, while I was doing this, I wasn't aware that a little bit of water had been spritzed onto this piece of cardstock. And when I pulled the tape up, it ended up pulling up some paper. So what I did was I took this to the paper trimmer trimmed it down and you're going to see me add it to the card base with mounting foam in just a few seconds. Now this is the quickest way to go about creating this look, that cloudy sky look, and that's with the mini cloud background stamp from Whimsy. This is an amazing little stamp. It's uh, perfect for this. So here I'm just adding some peacock feathers to that background stamp and I'm not even worried if it's covering the whole thing because I know I'm gonna come in and add salvage patina over this and stamp it one more time. Here you're gonna see I'm hitting it up pretty heavy with that juicy salvage patina ink pad and I'm gonna stamp over my image one more time and then you can see how it gives this great effect to this. It has this very cloudy, billowy look to that background, I love that. And there's that cute little guy jutting across the sky in his plane. So let's go ahead and put these together and start to wrap this video up. So we're gonna go ahead and start to put the cards together. Now this card here, it requires the most attention and it's minimal. I added mounting foam to the back of our ombre ink blended background and added that to an A2 top fold card base. And I'm gonna add round mounting foam pieces to the back of the colored images and add those to the card as well. We're gonna add some round foam adhesives to the stamp sky, or excuse me, stamped clouds, and add those along with our images to give us the look of our cloudy sky. I, this is probably my favorite one out of all of them. It's super easy to do, and you only need the stamp set to create this card along with some inks to do the ink blending. Now I am gonna add some uh, sequins to this just to bling it up and give it a little bit of sparkle. And then the other two cards were so easy because the backgrounds were created on our card bases. So all we had to do was come in and add mounting foams to the back of our colored images and add those to the card. And of course I added some sequins to those as well. Now I promised you some more samples here at the end of the video, so here's a quick look at those samples. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the Doggy Flight stamp set. I think it's absolutely adorable. Lots of uses with this. Birthdays, Valentine's Day, thank yous, thinking of you, encouragement, just so many things you can do with these adorable images. I have all the products linked down below for you. You can click the affiliate links to go head over to the Whimsy Stamps shop and check them out if you would like. Until next time, please know I really appreciate you and I hope you have an amazing new year.